When I watch JPP, I see fearless, dominant. When I watch JPP play, it just makes me shake my head. When I watch JPP play, it makes me get excited. It makes me want to go out and play just as hard. But the man who is perhaps Jason Pierre-Paul's biggest fan can't watch him at all. This man has never seen him make a sack, block a kick, do a backflip. He doesn't even know what Jason looks like. He is Jean-Gabriel Pierre-Paul, Jason's father, and he is blind. Well, let me, let me see what I... When he's going to play, I feel proud. You understand? I feel proud. I feel happy, even when I don't see in my eye. And even though he can't watch me play, that doesn't mean, you know what I mean, he doesn't hear things. You know, he hear how I'm doing great on the field. And, you know, just the other day, he called me on my cell phone and told me how we beat on the Falcons, you know? And, and it was, I was just laughing. I was like, how did he know, like, all this? Jason's parents are Haitian immigrants. They were living in South Florida in 1989 when Jean Gabriel began to lose his sight. His last vision of Jason was as an eight-month-old baby. He was a good-looking child. He was as black as iron. He was always agitated. He was never calm. He was always on the move. The main reason why he wanted to be something is because of the family, to see the struggle that we went through to help my mother, especially, and my father. At times, Jason and his four brothers and sisters struggled with having a blind father. He can't see us, and that's something that, you know what I mean, as a kid, like, you know what I mean, it hurts, and it's hard, you know. I just had a birthday party, and, you know, they blindfolded me, you know, to take me upstairs, and I was like, you know, when they took the blindfold, I was like, I don't know how my daddy do it. Jason was halfway through high school when a coach stopped him in a parking lot and convinced him to give football a try. And even though at 16 he'd never played the game, he soon realized it could be a lifeline for his family. Now only 23 years old, he's still a relative newcomer. But every step along his meteoric rise, Jean Gabriel has been there, listening, if not seeing. When he was playing and his mother and brother were always following the games, I was there, and I was always asking them how things are. You're, you're, you're indicating me. What do you think he sees in his head when he's listening to the game and he's hearing about what you're doing on the field? You probably imagine, you know, how you close your eyes, you just imagine what you're going to do. And my mom still say, like, he listens on the radio, and to tell you the truth, he know more than my mom. When his mother is following the match, she seems a little bit astonished. When they put two guards on him, she says, there's two or three people on top of him. I say, that's how the game is. Snap is good again. Kick on the three, and it's blocked! Blocked by the Giants! And it bounds into the end zone and through the back of the end zone, and the Giants will win it! And the New York Giants have saved their season! When in week 14, Jason's blocked field goal helped the Giants come back from a 12-point fourth quarter deficit against the Cowboys, it was Jean Gabriel cheering the loudest. This, I believe, it's he who gave the team the victory. In my heart, I feel like it's a good victory. And it's my victory, too, and all of us in the family. Has your dad come to a game? No, my dad never been to a game. That's football game. And I don't, I don't really know, know how to, you know, put him in an atmosphere like that because it's, it's loud noise. I don't know how he's going to react to it. If you guys were to get to the Super Bowl? Oh, yeah, they'll be there. They'll be there. They will be there, definitely. 